In the last video, I went over the shape of a graph of a quadratic function, and we called this graph a parabola. And we saw that a parabola, no matter if it opened up or down, all parabolas have a vertex and they have a y-intercept. We also saw that some parabolas, depending on where they are and whether they open up and or whether they open up or down, will have two x-intercepts, one x-intercept, or zero. And we also mentioned that this is going to relate to the discriminant of that quadratic function. What I'm going to do in this example is graph a quadratic function. And the example that I'm going to go over is f of x equal to x squared plus 2x plus 1. In later videos, I will show you how to graph this function using different, a different method that I'll show you here. But I just want to show you that any function, whether it's a quadratic function or a linear function or um, any polynomial function, if you want to get a general shape, you can always just plug in points and see what you get. And after we learn these different methods, I think that is something that's forgotten, that we can just plug in different values for x, see what we get as our output, and then plot those points. So the points that I'm going to plug in here are minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, and 1. And these are going to be the inputs. So I'll plug my x in, and the first one will be minus 3. And when I plug that in, I will get 9 minus 6 plus 1, which is 4. So I'm going to go over this uh, rather quickly here. So my point, my input was 3, or minus 3. My output was 4. So that will be right here. That is my first point that will lie on this parabola. When I plug in minus 2, I will get 4 minus 4 plus 1, which is 1. So that point will be minus 2, 1. That is another point that's on this parabola. And finally here, or not finally, but um, the next point, I will get 1 minus 2 plus 1. And if you see this point, 1 minus 2 plus 1 will result in 0. So that will be minus 1, 0. We can already see it start to bend a little bit. f of 0 will equal 0 plus 0 plus 1, which is 1. That will be right here. And f of 1 will equal 1 plus 2 plus 1, which is 4. And that will be... 1, 4, that will be right here. So we can see if we were to connect these that we will have a parabola, a U-shaped quadratic function. A few things I want to keep in mind here, or just to hint at that we'll get into in the future videos and future lessons, is that plotting points is not the most efficient way to graph this function. It is something we could always use if we want to get a general shape, but the problem is you, you're not going to necessarily know where the vertex is, or you're not going to know where the y-intercept is. Now, we can find those by using different strategies, but if you just choose random points, then there's a good chance you may not find it. I specifically chose these points because I knew they would result in a nice parabola like this. I also want to show you here that this vertex, which is minus 1, 0. That is our vertex, and that lines up right here in our chart. And we can see here that as we go away from the vertex, we're going to 1 to 4, and even if we go in the other direction, we go 1 and 4. And this is not happening by chance. This is something that relates to the fact that the parabola is going to be symmetric about this vertex. Meaning as you move in, you know, exact, if you move one direction to the left, you and you move one direction to the right, or one unit, you'll have the same output. So 
you can see here that if we were to fold this parabola in half by the vertex, or folding it in half so the vertex was on itself, and we had the axis of symmetry in the middle, that these points are going to be the same distance. They're going to be mirror images of each other. And that's going to help us to find points and to graph other parabolas in future lessons. So this particular example wasn't so bad by plugging in points, but we will soon see that we can immediately or find a, a way to just find the vertex right away, plot that, find some intercepts, y-intercept, find the x-intercepts if we can, plot those, and we can actually graph it a lot quicker.